Hello fellas, Peggy Day here. Okay guys, it's been a while since I had a, made a video. I've been too busy with my uh, summer toys, uh, rear control sailboats, and tugboats and such. I've been out there in the pond out there just living up the sun, having a good time and uh, enjoying myself as much as I can, any way I can. <laughs> uh, right now I've got about two I've got probably got about two two builds I need to finish up on, and uh, I'll probably have them finish up next week. Is my uh, Avro Shackleton, my Airfix. I that kid's up dormant for a while, fellas. I'm too busy on the projects, you know, and got kind of carried away here and there. Got lost in modeler syndrome, and I've got uh, Clint of the Mad Modelers and my uh, group build of the F4 Phantom 132nd scale by Ravel Buddy build. And uh, so far, it's ready. To, uh, the F4 fans are ready to be painted in the finishing colors. I've got all the origins all all assembled and everything. I, I need to paint those separately for it, install it in the aircraft. I may start on the on the final painting on that this evening. Uh, highly likely, I probably will just get that out of the way. And uh, one day next week, I shall have my Shackleton done. It's right now. It just needs to be uh, finished painting. It's all it's all done. And. Um, so I'm going to go to something else uh, before I uh, sh show what I'll be building next right now. Uh, I've been messing around with this card kit right here I've been building. This is the Avro, not the Avro, excuse me fellas, it's the Saunders Row SR45 Princess Flying Boat. And uh, so right here I've got this thing pretty much done, uh, almost done. i got that, the other three engines we've got to put on there, a little tuning up here and there. And uh, this mighty princess flying boat, we all finished. Like I posted the picture of this on uh, on uh, Facebook. So I, I'll probably finish this up this evening, and it won't take long to get that done. So I've been pretty busy lately, fellas, on these builds. So they will keep me busy here and there. So right now, the uh, topic for this evening's video is the Ravel. 148 scale B-17 F Flying Fortress, the famous Memphis Bell by Boeing Aircraft Company. And uh, most of all of you uh, probably know a lot about the Memphis Bell Flying Fortress. And uh, she was one of the first uh, of the 8th Air Force that completed 25 missions and there's been a lot of controversy on the crew members. Some, uh, some uh, was told and actually led to believe that all 10 crew members of the uh, Memphis Bell completed 25 missions on this aircraft, but that's not true. Uh, they were actually split up between uh, crews, but but the last crew members who flew the last the last mission of it were um, sent on war uh, bond tours uh, to the United States uh, for victory tours and everything, uh, for war bonds. And right now she's being restored. She's probably restored all, all together right now as I speak. But uh, I've built one of these before. I think it was 1978 kit when it first came out. I believe they got lost during some previous moves during the past. And uh, I just bought this kit recently and uh, so it's calling on me. So it's going to be a fast build. Not very much to do on a B-17, especially with them. And uh, I want to swing the camera out here and take a look at what's going on here and uh, finish up the video. Okay guys, here we go. Here she is right here in a big blue box, the famous Memphis Bell. Flown by uh, Captain Morgan. And uh, he did his last uh, mission on this thing. And there's a of course a 148 scale B-17 is a very sizable airplane indeed. And um, so this is a big box that comes in, that comes out of, and everything, and uh, we'll move the box out of the way and bring in the kit. So far here are the instructions, uh, the decals are typical Ravel decals, they're very nice decals, they're kind of hard. I don't know if they're cardiographed or not though, but who cares. Decals are decals. As long as they work and don't fall apart, that's all Frankie Day cares about. Uh, this kit gives you two different um, two different uh, callouts uh, for the V-17. It gives you the one for the Memphis Bell. It gives you the other one for uh, 
meat hound. And uh, so they all were 8th Air Force, uh, all a drab, neutral gray undersides. And I noticed on the wheels right here, they changed the colors of the, of the wheels of the decorations. Usually start out with the red ones, they end up with the blue ones. So those are optional right there for the Memphis Bell. And uh, put this vacuum paper over here on so the decals don't get burned. So these are typical Ravel Germany or Ravel instructions like that of all kits in general today. And uh, I believe there's about 30 steps to finish this airplane. Let's see here. We got about, uh, yeah, about 37, about 42 steps completes this thing. And uh, therefore, fellas, the interior detail on this uh, on this Memphis Bell right here is a lot more different than in the Monogam kit. Because the Monogam kit has all the detail in it. The Ravel did now. I was kind of, I was really kind of dismayed about that back in 1978 when this kit first came out. The only thing they give you, and, and detail wise or interior wise, is just the cockpit floor, the pilot and co pilot. And your bombardier, you've got no, uh, you got no uh, instrument panels uh, on the side, no rib detail, no nothing. That's got to be done by the modeler. So that'll kind of fasten up the build. So I'm going to do a general. So I'll go ahead and paint it chromate green and uh, pick out some details on it, do as much as you can, and that'll be it. So the instructions are pretty much very simple, straightforward. And uh, so far, I've been taking around with the uh, cockpit detail here. And uh, we'll zoom a little closer here, fellas. So on the, on the cockpit detail itself, the cockpit assembly, there's composed of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 parts. 13 parts make this uh, concept. That's all there is, fellas. That's all there is, and uh, I believe I've done the bombardiers uh, part too. I think I did. Where it's at, it's unknown. Ah, here it is. And we'll take a scan down a little bit closer so you can see, fellas, right here. That's all there is, boys. That's all there is right here. For detail parts, and as you can tell, inside the uh, fuselage itself, there's no detail at all in there. That's got to be done. Only thing, if you decide to go ahead and put detail into it, is just go ahead and use uh, either scribe it in, use sprue, or very, very fine uh, styrene strips will do and make your own stuff. But I'm not getting too involved in that because I don't want to stretch this thing out to be a four month new build. I want to get this thing done within a week or two, or two weeks, have this thing finished. Then I'm going to hang her up and I'll get it done. So, um, in general, fellas, that's about all there is to the kit itself. And, uh, and the sprues is consists of about three sprues full of parts. You got your undercarriage right here. Wings, bombs, the auxiliary uh, uh, bomb racks on there fits beneath the wings. And you got two holes right here where these bomb racks fit on here. So that kind of fills that in a little bit. No crew figures at all. No no, uh, no nothing. And, and that's, that's about it. It's a pretty bland kit for 148 scale. But it's... Uh, that kept it simple, guys, by all means. So I wouldn't say this is a very, the greatest 148 scale kit there is, one, and the B-17. I think the Monogram one is more superior. At least they, they put their all into it. It's more Ravel did. When Ravel first brought this out back in 1978. It was kind of like a hurried deal. So they kept the price down by limiting all the details. Clear parts are very good. They're very clean. You can see right through it, so that's pretty good. That'll work quite well. And uh, it's a pretty detailed kit, fellas, to say the least. So I'm going to get hot on that after this video. And bring the camera back to us, truly, and finish it up. 
Okay, here I is, man. Alrighty. That's about it right there for the inbox uh, review in, uh, in the entry of this uh, B-17 I'll be doing. So, I finished up that Lindbergh kit and I said, what the hey, I just build them. I like to build B-17s. They're pretty neat. I get a little bit of B-17 uh, fever once in a while. Now, when I finish up this and uh, finish up my Shackleton and finish up my... Um, That four Phantom. I'm gonna start on this here. Oh, I bought this about a good month or two months ago. This is the 148 scale C45 Expedite of a Beechcraft. The Navy we call it the Johnny Bowles J and B. Uh, and this is a very high detailed kit, guys. I think I did a, a video of this. So this is the calling on me too. So I got a lot of things to be do I'll be doing. So tonight I'm going to finish up that, that uh, Saunders Royal Princess and uh, wrap this video. I'm going to get started on this B-17 if I have a video of this tomorrow. Of the Flying Fortress will show you how much I got done on it. And uh, that'll be it. Okay guys, uh, that'll be it for this evening. Tomorrow I'll, I'll probably sneak in something else and make a surprise video for you guys tomorrow. And I might play you a jolly tune on my... Fender Jazzmaster behind me. I think you guys probably like to hear one of a couple of surf tunes that I, I played many years ago and still can remember to play it now. Okay, guys, uh, this is Frankie Day signing off. I'd like to thank everybody out there for tuning in. May God bless, make Mama happy, and uh, please subscribe and happy modeling. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. It'll be, it'll be tomorrow. So I'll have something special for you guys tomorrow. I think you guys really, to, really like to enjoy. And uh, that'll be it. And I got a lot of stuff I need to finish up on. There's those things that the stuff thing around get broken. I got to finish this stuff up. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. And we'll catch you guys next video. Frankie Day signing off. See you tomorrow, boys. Take care, fellas.